Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, I'm still lying in bed. Um, excuse the noise in the background. It is a fan. Last night was freaking boiling. Um, we had to put the fan on. Ooh. But um, today's the day. It's Friday, July the 2nd. And in an hour, well, just under an hour, I get the freaking keys for our house. Um, I'm so excited, like, I was on and off with sleeping last night, um, because of how excited I am. And for those who, like, don't follow me on my social, won't know, I'm currently 18 weeks and two days pregnant, which is really exciting as well, and I can't wait to take you guys on this journey, I'm still really tired, I'm not used to being up this early. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and meet the estate agent, and I'm going... I gotta go back to work then. Um, I do work from home, so it's not too bad, but I feel like today's gonna drag now because I've gotta wait for Michael to come home. And that Michael finishes an hour earlier than I do, which is like really annoying. Um, he finishes an hour before I do, so he'll be home early. And then, God, why am I your way? And then once I finish work then, we'll be taking loads of boxes down. We're moving all the smaller stuff this weekend. Um, we're not officially moving until next weekend, so we're not moving until the 10th of July. Um, we can move all the small stuff down, uh, such as like the kitchen stuff, anything that's small is what we're going to take down today. And then we're going to move the bigger stuff, such as the bed, our sofa, anything, our washing machine, anything like that next weekend, because um, Mike's parents are away. so. Um, they were gonna help us move with the van and stuff, but um, they're away camping this weekend, so that's sad. But I'm gonna get up and out, get dressed, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I'm just not hammering out the house this early in like so long, and the weather's really lovely. I just realised postman's gonna drive past, and I'm not in the house for my parcel, so fingers crossed he leaves her in a safe place um i ordered more makeup that i didn't need but yeah i'm just walking to the house now and i'll inform you when i've got the keys look what i got um yeah so we only got one key which may seem a little bit confusing to some because we, obviously we've got a back door as well but I think there's someone going around the house later to uh, do checks like everything's working um, and I think they might leave the key there for us and I'll hold it back through uh, I hope otherwise I'm going to have to ring and be like I don't have a back door key and there was someone parked right outside the house that's going to make everything a little bit difficult to move boxes in later and if we can't go around the back, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, really annoying. My neighbour said hi to me this morning, though. That was quite nice. And I'm going to go home now, go to work. And yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to our empty house tour. Welcome to number 14. Um, we're going to go and show you inside now. Michael's upstairs at the minute, but um, I'm going to show you inside. I need to see if my doorbell works doesn't work so yeah let's go and show you inside as you come in through the front door i'm going to try and film this best i can because michael's upstairs we have the kitchen with a sink room for <laughs> oh my god you scared me then um room for a washing machine here's michael say hi hi um you're saying we've got room for the washing <clears throat> machine um, all the cupboards, cooker, more cupboards, Michael. Mommy. The floor is amazing. I love the, like, the floor is probably one of my favourite things about it, yeah. You can sleep on the floor. <laughs> and then, if you come out of the kitchen then, you're in the living room. Which we got, like, wooden floor in here. And then we got really old looking, like, fireplace that we're going to get, like, an electric fire for. Because I just think that's going to look lush. And... We've got like a long radiator and the blinds. We'll show you out the garden in a minute. And we'll take you upstairs. You ready? 
Um, so right, the stairs are like really old fashioned and they're really steep and still they made of stone. Um, it's really hard to show the stairs, isn't it? The best route from up the top and then look down. Yeah, and then we got all like this old like kind of like stone work. Maybe you could include some pictures on the vlog. So yeah, I will put some photo up to show you guys a better kind of view. These are really steep, so with me being pregnant, I won't be walking up and down these all the time, but going up on my bum and coming down on my bum. So we got some handrails here as well. Um, and I'll show you a better picture. Here, yeah, so that's what the stairs are like. And that's like all the stonework and stuff like that. I just realized, I just realized why I couldn't see anything. I've been zoomed in the whole time. Right, um, but here then we've got like a really long landing. I'm going to take you into the first bedroom. This bedroom here is a smaller bedroom with like spotlights, small little window with some blinds. Um, this bedroom is going to be Baby C's bedroom. Um, we're going to put the cot there. And um, yeah, it's going to be lush. I'm very excited about it. Um, then you walk up this way then. And we have our bathroom. We've got a toilet, a flash, a little window. And this is really cool, right? Watch this tap. It comes out of the freaking tap. Um, shower, which I'm a bit confused about because there's two shower heads. And then that's me. We've got like a little cupboard. Put some like smellies and stuff in. And we've got like, um, I'm not actually sure if this is like one of those like handrails that are, which, are, uh, which are a radiator as well. I think it might be. And then when you come out here then, You've got the the boiler. Ow. Oh, here he come. What did you just do? I just banged my elbow on the wall. Oh no, are you okay? <laughs> and then, um, if you come in here then, this is mine and Michael's bedroom, which we're going to have like the bed up that way. And then... I'm going to sleep on that very tile. A very, very slate, which has the floor, doesn't have any wood. I don't know why that is, but... We've got like a rug or something that can go over there. I was just wondering how you shut these because they haven't got one of those things, have they? Do you know what I mean? Unless they're not meant to I shut. I thought there would have been a bit of string and you like... I don't know. It. I'm not very clever and I don't want to break it. So yeah, I don't break them. <laughs> so are we going to go and show them the garden? Yeah, I've opened the door already. Oh, okay, cool. So as you come out of the living room then, open the door and you step out and we've got like this big kind of like ooh, nearly fell <laughs> but she didn't um veranda area with like i love this i love this like plant we've got here it's absolutely stunning and then we've got all this room which we're probably going to put like some table and chairs and then around here we're gonna put like fairy lights and stuff like that. Make it look really nice. And then we've got like another little garden down here. Oh, it's a doggo. Um, that we've got probably gonna put a hot tub and stuff like that down, down there. And if you, we come down the steps here. This is like the second bit, as I was saying. Got like another big, like huge bit here. And um, we've got more steps. I don't know what we're gonna do with this haven't a clue but we'll find something to do with it i think we i think we're just gonna like put some flowers or something like that there um and then if we walk down here then walk down the more steps here's like the little garden i was just showing you guys we've got an outhouse that probably never gonna get used to be honest with and then We have a huge, gigantic shed that we still don't know what we're going to do with it as of yet. Um, we'll have to see. But I think we, we might put a bar in there or, so, or something like that. But yeah, that's the garden. So that's, that's the house. That is the house. That's the empty house. So we're going to start moving a couple of things, bits and bobs in now. 
we're not going to film that. <laughs> Bless you. For a, we'll add to the vlog as the days go on, yeah? So, from us, it's goodbye. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Our lovely estate agent slash landlord left us cookies as a, as a gift. We've got what ones, was it? Triple chocolate and some salted caramel. Mmm. And they're all mine. No, well, we share them. Right. Um, we're unboxing plates and bowls. And I'm using a key to open everything. Yeah, we didn't, really, my... we didn't think that through. And I taped everything like really well. So, Ooh. have a look. It's a bowl. It doesn't really show up the marble hour. Please don't roll them. Um, yeah, it doesn't show the marble up that well, does it? No, unless you like... On the camera. It's gorgeous. Yeah, really them. nice. But yeah, yay! We have uh, unboxed some of the boxes. We put our bowls and our plates away and we... Yeah. Um, you look happy, 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 We're going to go to McDonald's now because we don't have a fridge or a freezer so we've got no food in the house to eat. <laughs> so we're gonna go to McDonald's. Oh that dog was a good boy. Oh, I knew him so. He's a good boy. Um yeah so we're gonna go and get we're gonna get a McDonald's. I don't know what I want though. Do you know what have you decided what you'll have it? Not a clue yet, yeah, for sure. But um we're gonna get a McDonald's, we're gonna go back to uh, Michael's parents' house, grab the rest of some more boxes from Mac. I don't know what we're gonna do with all the rubbish at though. We haven't got a bin. Well, we have got a bin, but I don't know what day bin day is. I think it's gone. Um, but yeah, we'll take you guys along and we'll see you in a bit. Update, they've also got chicken selects back now in McDonald's. It's not something I ever order, but I'm more of a nugget kind of girl, aren't I? I don't know. Do I have nuggets or do I have a burger? What are you thinking? I don't even know. I don't know what I want. That, that bacon stack burger looks nice, that. But, um, yeah, I'll let you know what we have now when we eventually get there, because the queue is... Uh, I wish I could just turn my phone, my camera around, but I can't. But the queue is massive and we are right at the end, so... <laughs> Pouting because we've got a queue in it. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. We'll update you when we got food. We've come home to get some more boxes um, to take down the house. Um, we got some more kitchen stuff. So our kettle's in new. I think we've got the microwave upstairs as well. So we're going to put everything where it's meant to go. Oh, the lighting is awful in this bedroom. But um, hi, we are back home. We organised as much as we could, but I forgot to film, to be honest. Um, but I'll show you all tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's about half past nine now, and my legs hurt, my feet hurt, and I'm really tired, so I need to get, I'm gonna have a bath, and bed, because I've got to contact British Gas in the morning, um, because I believe our electrics on one of those smart meter things. And it's only 40p in the electric, so I need to like sort all that out in, in the morning. And then Sunday, our in laws are home and they're gonna help us uh, move some other stuff. Not that there's that much that we need to move, to be honest with you. Um, and then Monday, I think I'm gonna start moving the bigger stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go and have a bath now because I am absolutely knackered, <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's the following day. It's now five past eleven. I've sorted our water race out. I'm in the process of sorting out the gas and electric. It's been a long process this morning. As you can tell, I'm really, really, really tired. But um, we're gonna go back to the house and sort all the other kitchen bits out that we need to sort out today, and take it from there. Really. So um. Yeah, I'll bring you guys along and update you as we go along today. I've sorted the electric, which is great. It's been a very long morning and it's really stressed me out. Um, 
gas is a different story altogether. Couldn't do that online. So I'm going to get the help of my father-in-law to ring the supplier tomorrow. And yeah, so now um, I'm going to get dressed. Me and Michael are going to go and grab some food. And we're going to go to the house to get the kitchen a little bit slightly more organised than it was yesterday. And then we're going to come up and move the last two kitchen boxes. And that's pretty much the plan for today, really, because I can't move any big stuff until until everyone's home, really. So that's the plan. Michael's come to get me now. It's ringing, so I need to wrap up. And I'm really cold anyway. But I'll catch you guys in a bit and um, update you when I can. I'm just waiting for Michael to grab food. I, I've asked for a burger because that's what I really fancy. A cheese burger. And... I think he's having like a breakfast roll, which has got like, I don't know, like bacon, sausage, egg, hash brown, black pudding. I don't know. But here he comes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's our hem empty house tour. I'm from us pair. We're going to carry on moving some stuff in. I might like film little bits here and there. But from us and Baby C. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!